Hi everyone, I'm Elle. Welcome back to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. If you're new here, I upload weekly. But did you hear the tea? Shein has nearly doubled carbon emissions in 2023. Yeah, almost doubled. In a fast fashion world already known for its destructive environmental impact, Shein is now taking the crown. So today we're diving into how Shein has become the biggest polluter in fast fashion. But how did Shein even get here? And what does it mean for the future of fast fashion? So in 2023, Shein was everywhere. You literally cannot scroll through TikTok or Instagram without seeing someone's Shein haul, showing off their ultra cheap clothes sent right from warehouses in China to millions of mailboxes across 150 countries. It's trendy, it's affordable, and with the help of AI, it's faster than ever. But this is a major problem for our planet because Shein has emitted 16.7 million metric tons of carbon dioxide into 2023 alone. That's more than four coal power plants combined together in a year. And nearly half of Gen Zers in the US buy from Shein on a monthly basis, which is fueling this giant's non-stop engine. But why is this new growth happening now? Well, Shein's secret sauce has become AI, which is artificial intelligence that helps them churn out new designs and new products into your hands faster than anyone else. Some estimates say a new Shein design can go from concept to customer in just 10 days, and they're adding up to 10,000 new items to their site every single day. Every single day. AI lets them predict exactly what's trending and produces just enough of it to avoid stockpiling unsold items, which sounds efficient, right? But here's a catch. Like that speed and efficiency comes with massive environmental and human costs. Sure, AI can help reduce textile waste with the efficiency it can bring, but the problem is Shein's core business model. Everything from air shipping tiny packages to textile waste and micro pollution from its clothes, it's just a plethora of issues. And Shein's impact is staggering. About 38% of its climate footprint comes from just transportation alone, which is mainly air freight. For context, the company reportedly shipped about 900,000 packages to the United States on a daily basis this summer. And then there's the issue of polyester, okay? It's cheap, it's versatile, and it's everywhere. At Shein, 76% of their fabrics are made from their synthetic material, which sheds harmful microplastics into the environment every time it's washed. Only 6% of that polyester is recycled. And what about the rest? Well, mm, I don't have good news for you. And it's causing serious damage to our oceans and ecosystems, yet Shein's sustainability report probably mentions that their goal to cut carbon emissions by 25% by 2023 and reach net zero by 2050. But how do they plan to do that when their emissions are skyrocketing, driven by business practices that often rely on them to stay on top, often ruthlessly? So let's also not forget the human cost of ultra fast fashion. While Shein claims they're working to improve conditions for factory workers who make their clothes, recent reports show that factory workers at Shein suppliers are still pulling 75 hour work weeks. Yeah, that's right. 75 hours and that's coming from over a year ago when Shein promised to clean up their supply chains and even Shein's own audits of over 3,000 suppliers found that 71% of their factories scored a C or lower on labor practices, meaning things haven't improved. Factory workers frequently face intense pressure to keep up with the demand for fast fashion and the situation is only getting worse. Worse due to the increased AI-driven demand for cheap, fast fashion. The company reportedly offers as many as 600,000 items for sale at any given moment with an average price of roughly $10. And just to note, Shein declined to confirm or deny any of these reported numbers, just so you know. So is AI the villain here though? I don't think so exactly because AI itself is not inherently bad. In fact, studies show it can help businesses become more sustainable by managing resources, better reducing emissions, and 
And also I want to say that the real issue here is how companies like Shein are using AI. Their model is based on quick turnaround and mass production and AI just makes that process even faster with little regard for the environmental or human cost. And other fashion brands use AI too, but their approach differs. It's different. Most fast fashion brands ship products in bulk and they rely on ocean freight, much more sustainable than air freight. And they operate warehouses in multiple countries, cutting down in transportation emissions. But Xi'an, on the other hand, is shipping pieces individually from China to 150 countries. And so this on-demand model that it's known for might cut down on excess stock, but it's far from sustainable. And all of Shein's 5,400 suppliers have access to an AI software platform that provides updates on customer preferences and they change what they're producing to match it in real time. So now Shein says that it's working on a decarbonization roadmap to address its supply chain emissions and it started to use much more cargo ships which is better for the planet but honestly these small changes are not enough when the business model itself is built on excess and speed i really hope though that ai could be a solution for fast fashion if it's used responsibly but as it stands it only seems to be intensifying the harmful effects of fast fashion of Shein specifically and its unsustainable practices and until companies like Shein start fundamentally rethinking how they do business we'll continue to see you know carbon emissions waste and exploitation rise but what, what what can we do as consumers though the easiest way is to you know stop supporting fast fashion to stop demanding for it you can instead go to thrift stores you can upcycle and you can support initiatives that shift the market towards sustainability but we also need a demand for better from these companies because they aren't going to change by themselves. I think we most literally have to force them to change. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would love to continue the conversation. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in keeping up with the latest on ethical fashion and how we can make a difference, please hit the subscribe button. Until next time, peace and love. Elle.